So this is a heading, Baby Lucky 13. Very popular topwater lure. This particular one is an antique, so I don't want to throw it anymore and end up losing it. So I'm going to attempt to make one. Let's see how it comes out. I've got a three-quarter inch poplar dowel, and that is just about the same size as this. And this guy is about two and three quarter inches long. So I'm going to cut off a piece that big on here and then get to work on it. So this has an interesting shape in the front. See if you can see that. It comes out farther on the bottom than it does on the top. And it's just scooped out. But that's a little weird there, how it comes out farther. This screw eye is up kind of high compared to, uh, you know, it's not right in the center. It's up high. This has hook hanger on it, and I think I'm going to go ahead and put a hook hanger on there. Help keep this hook from getting caught up in the line. And I've noticed the hooks are different sizes. This is a much smaller hook than this hook. So I'll compare it to my hooks, see what sizes they are. But now i got to get this curve just right. So I've measured this. This sticks out almost a quarter of an inch farther than the top piece. About six, seven millimeters. So I've measured in a quarter of an inch here. Have this come out all the way to the end. And I drew a straight line down there, and I'm going to go ahead and cut that right off with a bandsaw until I get close to there, and then I'll cut it in here. So this is what I've got after cutting that. Now I'm going to take my Dremel with a little sanding drum and sand this out and try to get that nice little scoop in there. bottom piece comes to not really a point but it comes out sharper than the top piece. The top piece is got to be rounded a little too. So man I hit that pretty hard didn't I? Took a big chunk out there. But I can fix all that. I've got a mark. I've marked this here for that taper and on the side and I'll cut some of that out on the bandsaw and then I will sand some of it on my belt sander and then it will have to be finished by hand. I want to check out the hook sizes here. This has a large hook here and a smaller hook in the back. You can get these, you can get these online probably a bunch of different places. This came from Jan's Netcraft. Jansnetcraft.com. You can uh, print this out and it gives you the sizes. And I have found that the big one is approximately a number one hook. Well, it's not approximately, it is a number one hook, treble hook. And the little guy is a number six, really small. I got those, so I should have showed them all here probably. Number one, number six. So I've got my number one in six hook out. I am going to put a split ring on the back here. This one doesn't have one. That way I can change the hook easily if it gets bent or damaged. 
needs to be changed for any reason. Also, I might dress this hook someday. Who knows? So, bottom of this is a kind of a dark yellow. It's almost orange. I don't have anything like that, so I'm going to have to paint it a pretty bright yellow. That's all I've got. Who knows what this looked like 30 years ago, too. Might have been a lot lighter. Lead poured in there. Got my pilot holes drilled everywhere. I have dipped this in polyurethane. Now it's time to prime it. <laughs> So I've got this all ready to go, I think. I've got my screen for my scale pattern. I've got the top taped off, or the bottom actually, where it's going to continue to be yellow. I'm going to spray, I've got silver spray paint, which is not what this is. I don't know what this is. But it's going to have to do, the scale pattern on this is pretty big. I don't have anything like that. This is like screen from the, I think it went to my back porch. So despite having my screen not tight, this actually came out pretty good. It looked pretty decent. And then when I was putting it together, I managed to spill super glue all over it. Oh, So it looks kind of bad, but I might refinish it again later. But now I just got to go catch some fish. I'm making a second one. That's just going to be a white body with a red head, and I'll, I'll dip the head. So there they are. They came out all right. I think they're going to catch some fish. I can't wait to use them. And I'm going to try to make some more antique type lures. That's kind of cool to fish with some of these old things that I can't really get a hold of now. Or if I do, I don't really want to use them. So, Hey, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're going to make one of these guys. I think they're pretty cool. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks, have a great day.